YouTube, it's Chris, welcome back to the channel. In this video, finally, we have DLSS in Warzone and Modern Warfare. This video, I'm going to show you guys how much of a difference it makes on a high-end system. We're going to do a couple of quick benchmarks if it really helps. I think it's going to more or less help you guys on 2K or 4K monitors. Or if you're like me, that you like to play on 1080p, but you up the render resolution scale, that's when it should help. But what's interesting to me is to see how much it's going to help compared to that other option that we already had in the graphics menu. So guys, just going to run through a few quick benchmarks. We'll see how much of a difference it actually makes, if it's going to help you. And if it's actually going to look any clearer, because I remember in Cyber Cyberpunk, it didn't look too good. Anyway, let's go see how well it looks and how it runs. Now for reference here, these are the graphics settings I'm going to be using, okay, to test with. I could go full low and test with full low, but I don't really see the point. Um, it's not really make that much of a difference. It might have a slightly higher frames, but we're kind of testing on versus off, so it doesn't really, really matter. Okay, as a, as a base, I'm going to test with just 1080p, 100% render res, okay? And then what we're going to do is, these are the settings here, so I'm just going to scroll through them there. That's what I'm going to be running, okay? Then, once I've tested this, I'm going to go ahead and test 200% render resolution scale, okay? So that'll be scaling in 4K, as you can see here, all right? And then, once I've tested that, I'm going to go ahead and test th that in 4K, with using the original dynamic resolution frame rate target with dynamic resolution. See what we get there. As you guys may have seen in one of my previous videos, I did a quick little test. Okay. And then after we do that, instead of using this, we'll try using just DLSS and see how that works. And then after that, I'll try using this one and this one together. See how that kind of behaves. I don't know if it will let us use both of them together, but we'll jump in and we'll see what we can do. So I'm going to be testing in a multiplayer map shoot house and the reason being is on a test without bots I know roughly what I get in here anyway okay and just so you guys know you don't need to be on the new Nvidia driver to get DLSS to work I know roughly the FPS that I get on this map and I think this is going to be fair enough to be able to test roughly now obviously FPS scale is completely different in um, actual war zone it's more CPU bound than GPU bound but this can still give us at least a bit of a rough indication of how things will scale anyway so and then maybe later I'll just jump into some war zone and quickly show you guys like sort of the results okay so just real quick roughly in this area I usually get around about 400 now I don't know if FMSI after blown is going to affect anything so I'll just jump in here well, I used to get 400 um, standing right here. It looks like maybe this new update has dropped FPS a little bit. I will test regardless for you guys. Now, I have just quickly checked over everything just then. Had a bit of a look at the new NVIDIA drivers. There's no mention. There's mention about NVIDIA DLSS here. There's no mention about actual um, Call of Duty in this driver, which is interesting. So, at the end of this video, I will try the new driver for you guys. But anyway, for now, let's just go ahead and I'll quickly benchmark um, the current setup that we have right now. But um, it looks like I do get 40 less FPS with this update, unfortunately, which is a little bit disappointing. So I'm just going to run back and forth, um, just do a bit of a basic benchmark um, with the different settings, and then we'll see what we get. For the record, I'll just quickly show you how, I got, how I'm going to do it here. Um, I can't be bothered to use um, Cat Frame X today. I think this will do. I'm just going to do a bit of a loop around the world. 0.1%s don't look too high either. They don't look too crash hot. Maybe we do need to get on the Java. We'll see what happens. So I'm just going to do this with these current settings, and then we're going to go change the settings and vice versa, etc. I'm just going to do this maybe at 32 seconds would be fine. About that, that'll do. Cool. And then I'm going to go ahead and change the settings now. All right. So let's try 200% render res here. Same thing. All right. Basically, going to do the same thing. Yeah, the 0.1 seem quite low. Usually they're around about 180 here for me. So that could be a driver thing. Before I continue the benchmark, might as well show you guys um, where I'm at now. I've got 200% render res and now I'm trying out dynamic um, DLSS, should I say. Okay, it's currently disabled now. It looks really, really nice. It's rendering in 4K right now. I'm only getting about 200 FPS. So let's go ahead and put this on ultra performance which probably won't look too good to be fair. It'll downscale quite a bit. Yeah, everything kind of looks a little bit like blurry. That's definitely not too nice, but I'm getting almost 400 FPS. So it's definitely doing its job, which is nice. Um, let's go ahead and I'll change this to quality. Okay. Yeah, that's still pretty damn good. I'm getting about 360. I'm getting about the same frames that I usually would in 100% render res, which is all right. Okay. And then balance, let's see what that does. 
graphics, I guess, because the graphics card's fairly decent. We're not seeing that much of a difference. Unfortunately, I have to jump back in the map, so I'll do that now. All right, loaded it up again. Um, so yeah, that's interesting. Let's go back here and let's try. I think we have one more setting we can play with. That is performance. So this will probably be a little bit different and act a little bit different depending on what kind of a graphics card you have. Obviously, we're testing with the top of the line stuff here. We've got a 3090. But I guess in my case, it looks like I'd be probably just using quality. Yeah, if I was to use it. It looks like a much better implementation of um, dynamic resolution. And I'll see if you can actually enable both of them. Uh, see, there you go. It doesn't, I thought that might happen. It doesn't let you enable dynamic resolution. So I would say that DLSS is basically just dynamic resolution on steroids, much better implementation. The I can say it looks better I would say maybe this looks a little bit more blurrier than dynamic resolution. Definitely. I think it's downscaling a little bit more. Okay. So like if I change this back to disabled and change this to on with a 300 FPS target. Yeah, that looks a lot clearer, but I don't hold as many FPS. That's for sure. Okay. So I'll just run a few benchmarks through the different um, options. I'll probably just do like max performance and um, max quality for the DLSS settings. I don't think there's any point testing anything else. And then um, we'll see what we get. I was just having a quick look at the results here. So um, just normal 100% render res, about average of 160 FPS. 200% render res, I lose about 150 FPS, give or take. Um, the 1% and 0.1s don't get affected too much, which is really interesting. Um, although I feel like there's an issue here because usually my 0.1% are quite a little bit higher. Um, going to just using dynamic resolution at 300 targets. Um, average goes to 280. It's uh, not too bad. This is probably still looks the best in my opinion. 200 and um, dynamic resolution at 300 target, honestly. Um, we did get a little bit of a boost there in 1%. Different ones didn't really do anything. Now the juicy stuff, DLSS, looks like it does something huge, but didn't really boost the 1% and 0.1s much. But as far as average, it helped a lot but it looked horrible in performance option. Absolutely horrible. In quality, it looked okay, but um, you know, I guess it's gonna depend on what kind of graphics card that you have and how well that scales, but it didn't really do too much here. So this is gonna be like really useful for guys that play 2K, 4K or 200% render res, but in my opinion, I still think dynamic resolution is much better. It looks a lot clearer because you can actually adjust the render resolution target, right, for example, because you're not really going to be getting like 200 FPS all the time. Most PCs won't in Warzone. So that way you can basically just use this one and then to make it look a little bit better, roughly get your target and check your FPS because, you know, obviously multiplayer would be different, but in Warzone, most people in Beast PCs in Vedans are only going to get about that max. Maybe, maybe, maybe the um, rebirth, you can get 300. Um, but anyway, that's interesting. So I'm a little bit just I'm excited on how well it works I'm disappointed in how bad it looks and I'm also disappointed that this update Tends or seems to have affected FPS quite a little bit. So just for you guys. I'm gonna go try the new driver um, Reload the shades and all that good stuff and we'll see what kind of results that I get Hopefully um, the new driver just magically fixes uh, my FPS because like I said I am getting about 360, 365 here, and I usually always consistently get 400, 410. So yeah, I've done definitely done something in the update here. I don't know if it's like a security thing for the anti-sheep. Who knows what it is, but I'll go throw on the new driver and um, I'll test it for you guys. Funny, actually, as I do this, it says, um, you guys might've just missed it. It said, um, Warzone DLSS now. So that was interesting. I'm just um, going ahead and installing the new driver now and um, um, yeah, we'll see what happens. Hopefully it fixes the 1% and the 0.1s because here's the thing, right? Um, I tested this with basically all the other drivers and the uh, 457.30 was best, but now there's a full season update, especially for a game that you really care about. That's when it's the time to actually maybe consider, especially if there's a major overhaul of the game, maybe a newer driver is better. Even if they don't include it in patch notes, we'll see what happens. Usually I would say I only worry about it if maybe there's a big season update and for the game and you're starting to feel some micro stutters, doesn't feel quite right anymore. That's when I'll look at maybe looking at a driver update if you guys aren't sure, you don't want to test yourself honestly. Um, but unfortunately sometimes there is generally all the drivers that are better for specific games and that's just how it is. I'm just going to set everything up now and then we'll go back in the game. 
All right, so I am back on the new driver and unfortunately FPS is pretty much roughly the same. I'm obviously going to test really, really quickly and I'll do all the tests that I just did before. I won't bore you guys. I'll just go ahead and run it now, but um, hopefully at least fix the 1% and 0.1s. Let's see what happens. All right, all done. So real good news. The driver fixed my 1% and 0.1s. Um, I could turn around and say maybe it was a shader issue, but I probably highly doubt that. Who knows? So it looks like this goes to show when a new season update comes out, if the game isn't feeling quite right, hey, so consider updating driver, even though it wasn't mentioned in the patch notes. So as you can see here, I'm just going with my base. 1% was 100% render res, about 200, 1% and 130, 0.1%. And now we're getting 300, 1% and almost 300, 0.1%. So that's all fixed. So let's just see how that scales. Um, it pretty much scales very, very similarly, except the 0.1 and the 1% are fixed now, which is interesting. Okay, so it seems like with a really good graphics card, they don't change much. Now, hear me out, guys. Even in quality, it still didn't look very good for me. So I think I'm still going to prefer probably this, this dynamic resolution for me. But for you guys with lower end cards, this is actually huge. So for you guys with high-end cards and playing really, really high resolution, this is huge. And for you guys playing with really low-end cards, this is huge too. You can get huge FPS boosts. Say you're on 1080p low, but you have a really low-end card. This is going to help you a lot. And if you're playing in 4K, um, it's going to help you a lot too. The only thing is, are you going to be able to deal with how the image looks? Because it doesn't look so good. Anyway, for reference, because I said to you guys, I'll jump into a little bit of a war zone. Um, game. I'll try to jump in somewhere safe and show you guys these settings really roughly. We won't do a benchmark, but we'll just look at the um, current FPS that I get just so you guys can see how it kind of scales in my machine. I'll try to jump down in Vidanx somewhere um, and we'll see what happens. Looks like unfortunately I can't test Vidanx or Vidanx. Um, so I'll just have to test Rebirth. Sorry about that guys. It looks like there was the, the whole new convention. They might be bringing out a new map. They haven't released it yet. Looks like they're going to release it in eight hours. So. I'll just have to test Rebirth and to see how the kind of this scales. And in a way, this isn't a bad thing because Rebirth is a little bit more GPU heavy. And this is affecting, um, you know, your GPU load here, both what we're changing um, and how the resolution scales. So in a way, it's probably a good thing that we're actually going to be testing in a more GPU heavy map. Anyway, let's get a match and see what happens. All right, just about to jump in. Hopefully I can land somewhere safe to test this without dying. Let's see what happens. All right, here I am now. This is roughly, yeah, this is 100% render res. So about 300 FPS roughly. Okay, I need to quickly do this before I die. This is 200. Okay, so we're gonna be at 170 FPS. Now what we I used to do was dynamic resolution. Set this roughly at what kind of target you want. Now that's maxed. So for me, I would bump that down a little bit manually, maybe 250, because then the image might look a little bit better. Okay, so I'm getting about 230. All right, now let's use DLSS. Let's try Ultra Performance. Okay, so we're scaling in 4K and we actually get more FPS, which is interesting. That's all right. All roughly the same. Now I'll try um, quality, although there won't be too much of a difference with a 3090. As you can see here, maybe 10 FPS difference. There you go. So what's interesting to me is what happens if I go ultra performance at 100% render res? What will happen? Game will look like an absolute potato, but not much. So for you guys with a lower end card, this would help a lot. But for me, unfortunately not. Now it's always a matter of look how bad the image looks here. I honestly still think like for me in, in my setup, I'm going to prefer this. Right? This off and this on at 300 target. That's just the best image to me, but it does depend on what kind of a card yet you have. Anyway, I think you guys get the point. Um, that's pretty much everything guys. Um, so I'd probably say probably get on the new driver to fix your 1% and 0.1s. Um, have a bit of a play around with it. It comes down to as much as you can have high frames, you still need to be able to see from a distance, especially in this game. Multiplayer is a little bit different. doesn't matter so much. But um, guys, subscribe, like, share, and I'll see you in the next one. Hope this video helped you. Bye.